Ms. Carter, you and the defendant have a child together. You are not married. You don't live together. Yes, ma'am. There came a time sometime in September when, according to your complaint, we were supposed to meet with the defendant to get some money. Yes, ma'am. And that was on September 16th. Where were you supposed to meet him? At his mother's house. And when had you made that appointment to meet him at his mother's house? Earlier that day at work. Tell me how that came around. Um, we were supposed to be, like, exchanging for getting diapers, wipes, little necessities. Now, did that come around as a result of a phone call, a text message, an email? Phone calls and texts. I'd like to see the text that you were coming to his mother's house, because that's not where he says you were supposed to meet. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. He says you were supposed to meet at... Walmart. Which is where she works. Uh, she works on Wall Train, and that's right down the road from where she works on her way. Could be on her way home, ma'am. And what time were you supposed to meet her? Uh, she got off work like 2, 2.33, so I said somewhere around 3, 3.30. Did you go there? No, ma'am. Why not? Because she never called. So she was supposed to call yeah, you? Yeah, when she got off work to meet me. You know, I'd I like to see... find the text messages. It must have been a phone call. I apologize. Was it text messages or I, I was. It was a phone call. She was at work that morning. Well, she said she was at work. It was about 10, 11 o'clock. I said, uh, meet me and I'll give you some money. Uh, when you get off, she's supposed to get off at like 2 or 2 30. And I said, meet me. I'll meet you somewhere on Wall Train in the area of Walmart. Okay. So you didn't call him. And I want to tell you something. I believe you were supposed to call him to meet him someplace. Let's understand each other. I've been doing this work a long time, and I'm looking at your face. And I know that you were supposed to call him to meet him at a sort of a neutral place because this man looks scared to death, but he's not stupid. And there would have been no good reason for him to invite you to his mother's house and have his new girlfriend there. No good reason. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's usually, having lived all these decades, your curiosity that brought you to the house at 8 o'clock at night. Now, mm -hmm. are you telling me that you didn't go there at 8 o'clock at night? <clears throat> yes, ma'am, I did. You went there at 8 o'clock at night. Where do you work? I work at McDonald's. And what time did you finish your shift at McDonald's? 2 or 2.30. And is Walmart down the road from where you are? Yes. How long have you and the defendant been separated, not dating? since July of 2016. And when was the baby born? October the 20th, 2014. From 2014 to July of 2016, was he giving you any money? Every now and then. When you asked him? Yes. So you never had any need or want to go to court to finalize a support order? No, ma'am. Between 2014, when your son was born, and July of 2016, where had you always met to get money from him? His mother house, my job, we would go everywhere. Give me the month and year you went to his mother's house to get money from him. September 2016. Not this date? No. Before this date? Yes, ma'am. What was the date? September the 4th. You remember that? I don't recall, Your Honor, but I'm not saying it's wrong. Okay, so September 4th, you went to his house at what time? It was probably around three or four. Was he home? He was there, yes, ma'am. Did he give you money? Yes, ma'am. And you had arranged with him to come over after work? Yes, ma'am. By phone or text? Um, it was probably by phone, but I didn't call him when I got off. I just pulled up after I picked the kids up from the babysitter. Well, how would he know to have money for you unless you had a conversation with him before that you were coming over? It's just we'll talk like before I go to work and I'll just come after I get off from work. Work, fine. Sometimes we just call, a second. sometimes we don't. Yes. Now, now we're getting tacky. 